Country H's mage's Armageddon attack hit Lin and Yi Yi, but both of them survived because of Lin's skeleton armor that he activated at the last moment. He ordered half of the skeleton warriors and mages to attack Country H's hunters. At his command, half of the skeleton warriors and mages stayed to fight the Elemental Queen, and the remaining half came to attack the Country H's hunters. As their master was attacked, the skeleton warriors were very angry and looked too scary as they ran towards Country H's hunters. Country H's hunter leader, who has the devil eye, got scared when he saw that many skeletons coming towards them. He asked, What the hell are those things? Where did they get all these undead creatures from? He started thinking if the elemental queen has minions because he had never heard of them. But he told his party members to not panic and get into formation to fight. All the hunters from Country H got into formation and were about to attack. But suddenly they all froze while standing. They were all confused, thinking if this is a curse. They were right. That really was Lin's slow curse skill that he used to stop them from moving. Lin knows that unlike the monsters, the hunter professionals will probably have the skills to remove the curse. So he decides to deal with the healers first. He orders the skeleton mages, and following his command, skeleton mages target Country H's healer and attack. As all the Country H's hunters were tied by Lin's slow curse skill, they cannot save their healer from the skeleton mage's attack. Fire, ice, water, and thunder magic attacks hit that healer. Seeing that, Country H's hunter's leader got very angry. But it was already too late because now there was no way their healer would survive. He fell on the ground and was barely alive. This makes Country H's leader very angry. And he uses his group provocation skill to break Lin's curse chains to get free. He immediately uses his group chain skill and ties all the skeleton warriors who were very close to Country H's hunters and were about to attack. He takes out a bottle of potions from his inventory and tells his party members to stop saving items and use it to save their lives. All the Country H's hunters take out that same potion and drink it. And as soon as they drink it, Lin's slow curse chains disappeared. That potion was to lift the curse, not knowing what Country H's hunter's leader used, but he immediately healed himself. Something like a monster notification pops up in his head. Country H's hunters take a sigh of relief because they almost died, but they don't know that this was not the end. Skeleton mages attacked them using all kinds of spells. Seeing that many magic spells coming their way, Country H's hunter's leader uses his group protection skill on his party. Skeleton mages' powerful attacks hit Country H's hunters. But because of Country H's leader's group protection skill, they don't take any damage. Seeing that, Yi Yi realizes that they're all level 40 hunters. She informs Lin that the enemy knight's group protection, group chain, and the mage's sneak attack with meteorite fire are all level 40 skills after the second evolution. Seeing that there's an anti curse potion, Lin starts thinking if this is the depth of a second evolution professional. He admits that under the circumstances of being able to use props, level 40 professionals are indeed difficult to deal with. But so what? This is nothing to Lin. He knows that if it wasn't for the skeleton armor, Yi Yi and he would have been in a very dangerous situation right now. He can't be soft on his enemies. He resummoned the skeleton warriors, and because of that, Country Hay's leader's group chain skill that was on the skeleton warriors disappeared. Lin commanded the skeleton warriors to attack Country H's hunters. Because Country H's leader used the group protection skill, his spirit was low, but he somehow again healed himself. But skeleton mages again attacked them, and skeleton warriors also joined in. Country H's mages also used their magic spells to attack skeleton warriors, but their attacks could not stop the skeleton warriors, whose defense and strength are very high. Country H's mages got shocked, wondering what's wrong with these summons. Why can't they be killed? Country H's hunters asked their leader what they should do. Their leader, the Devil Eye Hunter, was very angry. He didn't realize Lin was so strong, and he was able to keep them in check while dealing with the Elemental Queen. Seeing that their side is losing, Country H's leader told his party that they have no choice but to retreat. Every one of them was shocked to hear their leader talk about retreating. But when they looked at Lin, who can single-handedly defeat them, they believed retreating is the best choice. They were more scared, thinking that up till now, only Lin was fighting. So what would happen when the girl beside him also joins the fight? Retreating was a good idea, but it's not easy to escape from Lin. He used the ultimate soul flame skill and attacked one of the Country H's hunters. Their leader's group protection skill didn't work in front of soul flame, and that hunter's soul started burning. He screamed in pain, but couldn't be saved. Seeing that, Country H's leader told everyone to get out of there. They all were panicking 
and taking advantage of this opportunity, skeleton mages attacked Country H's leader with their powerful magic. But as he is above level 40 and has high defense stats, he somehow survived skeleton mages' direct attack. However, he cannot escape injuries. He was heavily injured and was very exhausted. When he looks ahead, he sees his party members dying by skeleton warriors and mages' hands. One by one, all Country H's hunters were dying. Country H's leader takes out another bottle of potions and drinks that. After drinking that potion, he regains some of his energy, activates the protection shield, and starts running away from the skeleton warriors, who already have killed all the Country H's hunters. When Country H's leader gets some far, skeleton warriors stop following him. Seeing that, Yi Yi asks Lin if they are going after Country H's leader. Lin said no, because knights on max defense are a little hard to kill. Besides, they have more important things to do here. He is talking about the Elemental Queen, who is completely fine even after fighting skeleton warriors and mages for so long. Now, all the skeleton warriors return to fight the queen. Skeleton warriors carry Country H's hunter corpses with them when they come back to fight. Elemental Queen again gets ready to use her Elemental Blast skill that she was continuously using to destroy the Skeleton Warriors. But this time, before she can attack, Skeleton Warriors throw the corpses of Country H's hunters at her. When the corpse was very close to her face, then Lin immediately uses the corpse explosion skill. That corpse exploded with a huge explosive power, and without a rest, Skeleton Warriors again throw other corpses of the Country H's hunters at her. There was a very big explosion because there were many corpses. Elemental Queen was very injured, and all the elemental crystals she was using to store energy also were not in good shape. Seeing that, Lin thought that the damage from this is really good, as expected from a level 40 corpse. He smiles and orders his skeleton to let's kill the Elemental Queen while it's down. The injured queen was sitting on her throne, and all the skeleton warriors and mages charged at her. Lin's skeleton warriors and mages combined their attack on the Elemental Queen. The Elemental Queen, who was fighting all this time while sitting on her throne, is now facing Lin's skeleton warriors herself on the battlefield. Skeleton warriors are continuously attacking her from all directions, and at last, they successfully defeat her. They stab her with multiple swords, and with that, they kill the Elemental Queen. Lin gains 23-4000 experience and obtains 5 Elemental Crystals. These Elemental Crystals can be used to make Platinum Level Equipment or Enchant Equipment, and they are one of the materials to make a cooldown talisman. When the Elemental Queen died, her body started to turn into a purple crystal and disappeared. Along with that, the Ice Palace she ruled also started to disappear little by little. Yi Yi takes a sigh of relief, seeing that they are finally done. Lin informs her that he has gotten all the Elemental Crystals, and both of them come out of the Ice Palace. In just a few minutes, the Queen's Ice Palace disappears into thin air. Yi Yi is very amazed seeing all that, and is looking at this beautiful sight. But Lin doesn't have time for all this. He is worried because most of his skeletons are heavily injured and need to return to the summoning space to recover. He commands all the skeleton warriors and mages to return to the summoning space. When the queen died, not only she and her palace but all the elemental realm also disappeared. After its disappearance, Lin and Yi Yi see that the place they are right now is close to the third battlefield. Lin thinks this is great since Lord Bai's other task for him is to increase his military rank as well. He asks Yi Yi to let's go to the third battlefield. After walking some distance, both of them arrive at the third battlefield. This battlefield is also a deserted land and has some kind of burning smell to it. When both of them were going, suddenly some level 35 abyss devourers surround them. These abyss devourers look just like a hyena and mouse hybrid, but they are scarier with red glowing eyes. Seeing Lin and Yi Yi in their territory, all the Abyss Devourers attacked them. However, before reaching Lin, they died by Skeleton Warriors. By killing a level 35 Abyss Devourer, Lin gains 17500 experience points and one military merit. He also obtains one Abyss Devourer Claw. Lin doesn't like that by killing one Abyss Devourer, he only gets one military merit. He says, These monsters give too little military merit it's better to find abyss demons to kill. On the other side, Yi Yi was using her hell level dagger to fight with abyss devourers. When she hears Lin say that, she tells him that abyss demons have high intelligence and hide even deeper than mice, but they will still find them somewhere. Suddenly, something sheen is brightly in the sky. It was a distress signal that surprises both of them. They know that this distress signal means something happened ahead, 
Lean tells Yi Yi that it's not far away, so let's go. Both of them, after killing the Abyss Devourer, run towards the direction where that distress signal comes from. But when both of them get there, that place was very quiet. Yi Yi feels that something's weird. Because the monsters there are all gone, suddenly from a sandstorm, they hear someone laughing. Yi Yi immediately recognizes that it's the voice of a demon. She says, Lin, looks like the devourers have been summoned away by a demon. Both of them start going inside that sandstorm, thinking that the professional who just sent out a distress signal might be under siege. They are struggling to go inside because the pressure is very strong and pushing them back. Inside, hundreds of abyss devourers have surrounded some hunters. When a knight asks his party members to support him to break out from those abyss devourers' formation, suddenly, something attacks him to stop him from leaving. The thing that attacks them is a level 38 abyss wolf demon. This is an ordinary level 38 demon with 12,000 strength, 1,000 agility, 3,000 spirit, and 9,000 physique. Its skills are roar attack and bite. This abyss wolf demon is flying on a giant abyss demon dog and is preventing those hunters from leaving. The hunter knight gets very angry because the abyss wolf demon is playing with them, trying to use their distress signal to attract more people. When Lin and Yi Yi get there, they get annoyed. It's a flying monster again. Worried, Yi Yi plans that they need to find a way to trick the abyss wolf demon to land. When the abyss wolf demon hears Yi Yi's voice, it smiles, saying, Finally, more humans are here. When it sees Lin and Yi Yi, it gets confused, asking why there is only a level 26 brat and a level 25 girl. The abyss wolf demon laughs and says the little girl has delicate skin and tender flesh. It looks delicious, and should be very delicious. The hunters also get confused, asking how did a person at level 26 come over. He asks his party members why there are professionals below level 30 in the third battlefield. Now, they are finished. With glowing yellow eyes, the abyss wolf demon flies towards Lin and Yi Yi, shouting, I'll eat you first. Seeing it coming, Yi Yi gets behind Lin. The abyss wolf demon laughs and says, Hiding is useless. Your fate is already decided. I'm going to eat you one bite at a time. Eat your hands first, then your thighs. I won't let you die before finishing eating. The abyss wolf demon's mouth was full of water, and it was ready to eat Lin and Yi Yi. It says, Little girl, your screams will be the best seasoning for me. But Yi Yi was not scared. Instead, she was smiling because everything was going according to their plan. Because the abyss wolf demon thought they are weak, it comes down on land to attack them. And this was what Lin and Yi Yi were aiming for. Seeing Lin in front protecting Yi Yi, the abyss wolf demon shouted, Brat, go to hell, don't interfere with my meal. It raised its giant hand to attack Lin, but its attack was stopped by Lin's skeleton armor. Lin used slow curse chains to tie it down on the ground. The abyss wolf demon was shocked at what's going on. When it tried to break free from those chains and fly away, it was unable to even move. It realized that these chains are cursed chains. It used its roar skill, but it's no use because curse chains stop all of them. While it was tied by chains and was struggling, Lin summoned the skeleton warriors to fight it. From all directions, skeleton warriors attack this abyss wolf demon using their raise strike skill. Those hunters were shocked seeing the abyss wolf demon in that position. They were confused about how the situation suddenly became like this. Their leader knight told them that it's the power of curses, and this is their chance to break through. They all run and come out of the Abyss Devourer's trap. When they stop, they all were exhausted, but safe. One mage said, This is great. Now, we're finally safe. But they all get very shocked when they looked at where Lin's skeleton warriors and that Abyss Wolf demon were fighting. They saw that the Abyss demon that was very strong is now struggling to fight skeleton warriors. Suddenly, a skeleton warrior, using its raise strike skill, cuts the Abyss Wolf demon's head. Its head falls on the ground, but it was still alive and cursing Lin, saying it will kill him. Those hunters were very shocked. Their leader asks, What are those undead creatures? Why can't the abyss wolf demon fight back at all? A skeleton warrior stabs its sword in that abyss wolf demon's head, and it dies immediately. For killing a level 38 abyss wolf demon, Lin gets 380,000 experience points and 50 military merit. He also obtained Demon Blood Essence, which contains the power of the Abyss that alchemists and blacksmiths can use to craft equipment. Hunters were shocked that the Abyss Wolf Demon died just like that. 
Lin told them to step back because he needs to clear the scene. Hunters get confused when they hear him saying he is going to clean the battlefield. They all were confused. Isn't he only level 26? How did he kill a demon so quickly? Yi Yi, who was already far away from Lin, called those hunters and asked them to come quickly to her. Or, they will get hurt by mistake. When all those hunters get behind where Yi Yi was, one of them told her that those devourers can't be killed with just a few attacks. Yi Yi laughs and told them to just watch him. Lin was standing in front of that abyss wolf demon's corpse, and all the abyss devourers come to attack him. Lin smiled and said, Sure enough, the place with corpses is my home ground. Lin raised his hand, used the ultimate skill corpse explosion. That abyss wolf demon's body blasted with a huge explosion, and along with it, all the abyss devourers that they killed before also blasted. There was a huge explosion that killed all the abyss devourers within its reach, 